Before I get into this video, I want to make a disclaimer that doing anything that I do in this video will void your warranty with the Azul product that you choose to use this with. Just keep that in mind when installing a third party operating system on top of this product, it will void your warranty. So let's get right into the video. Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros, and I'm here to bring you a video of about installing Linux on your Azul product, specifically the Access Plus. There's a lot of different products that Azul offers from different mini PCs to even their remote, but in this video, we're gonna be talking about you wanting to install a version of Linux on top of an Azul product, and to just let you all know if it's even possible at all. This is something that I came up with and approached Azul about it, and they asked if I could make a video on it, so might as well. So without further ado, let's get right into that video. So for this video, we're going to be using a version of Linux called Ubuntu, which a majority of my audience is probably familiar with. Ubuntu is a Linux distro that is very user friendly and designed to be a good Windows replacement. We're going to be installing it using a flash drive and putting it on an Azul Access Plus. The process is very simple and very similar compared to installing it on a PC, just like installing Windows. It's a very easy process. All you gotta do is get a flash drive, download a program called Rufus, and then download your ISO file from Ubuntu's website. Once you download the latest version of Ubuntu, all you have to do is load it up on the Rufus software, which will allow you to make a bootable USB drive. You will need at least a two gigabyte flash drive for this process, but in my case, I have a four gigabyte one, so it should do just fine. And once you do that, you'll mount the ISO on the flash drive, make a bootable USB, and then you're good to go. Once you do that, plug it into your device of choice, which can be an issue being that the Access Plus only has two USB ports. So if you have a USB hub, be sure to plug that in as well to make things easier. If not, you're going to have to navigate the install process by either using just a keyboard or mouse. I prefer using a keyboard because you can tab and move around that way. It's a lot easier than just using a mouse. And definitely when you need to type in username and passwords, having a keyboard is better. But the installation process is very simple with using just a keyboard and tabbing through the options. So once you have the install in, you boot up your Access Plus or Byte Plus and hit delete on your keyboard to access the BIOS. This is a very straightforward system and shows that this isn't very locked down, which is a big plus on Azul's part because the system that they're giving you is open to do whatever you want. You can install any operating system as long as it supports the software and the hardware combination, which is an Intel Atom processor and four gigs of RAM, which most uh, Ubuntu or any other Linux distribution will support it. Now that you have Ubuntu installed and running through the whole process, you have a new version of an operating system on your machine, which is a really awesome thing. You can do this for any other machine that you want, but in this video, we're specifically talking about the Access Plus. So now you have a portable Ubuntu machine that can run different Linux operating systems and Linux things that you want it to do. While there really isn't that big of a difference by installing Ubuntu over Windows because Ubuntu is a Windows replacement, there are a bunch of different Linux operating systems that you can go with and the process is pretty much similar. All you have to do is follow the same basic installation process for a Windows machine and you're up and running and good to go. So if you want to see a specific Linux distribution installed on one of these Access or Byte Pluses, be sure to comment down below and I'll definitely look into it. I'm looking for an operating system that actually adds more functionality than Windows can provide and try to take advantage of the portable solution that this thing offers, maybe some sort of Plex server or other things like that. Please leave a comment down below with your suggestions. And I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. If you did, leave a like down below and comment what you think. If you want to pick up an Access or Byte Plus, link will be in the description down below. And they do provide some really awesome products for pretty decent prices. So I hope to see you on the next one, guys. Peace out.